When reaching for the future, we sometimes fall into the past as we gaze upon events that cannot be changed. Our hearts grow bitter with regret. And you, my dear Sarah, will you encounter your past here? How will you choose to deal with that pain? So this is how Cocoon looks from the inside. That's right, I forgot. This is your first time here. Yep. Exciting. Guess it's over. Huh? It's the army! Go, go. Oh, friends of yours? Treated like criminals, but it's just a misunderstanding. Stick to the truth, and we'll be okay. What's up? That huge hand. Any idea what it was? I heard them call it Atlas. I think. As far as I can tell, it seems to be the cause of all the trouble here. So why do you end up here? I bet the gates open into all sorts of places. Getting to Valhalla is not going to be easy. Hey, do you know what the academy is? No idea. I was gonna ask you the same question. If you don't know, it must be a pretty new organization. What 
is this paradox effect? Remember the weirdness near your village when the meteorite fell? Probably the same kind of thing. You're going straight to Academy HQ. They'll drag the truth out of you. Why'd you lock us in here? You're under suspicion of interfering with Academy business. One question. What's the Academy? Uh, the Academy's the Institute that's investigating you. Who doesn't know that? What's going on here? As if you didn't know. Unknown hostiles have infested the ruins and are slowing down the survey. Uh, when do we eat? You think this is some kind of joke, Hotshot? You two came up on the Grand Elevator? Huh? The Grand what? Sarah, what's he talking about? He could be talking about the elevator that's supposed to connect Cocoon and Pulse, but it's still being built. It's going to be finished next year. You're confused, miss. It was done last year. Uh, last year? Did we move forward in time? <laughs> I'd say two years have passed, had a guess. Since what was scheduled for next year has already been built last year. Could the gate have brought us to an alternate world? Hmm. If I had to guess, I'd say it's the same world. But there's definitely something off. Could my memory be messed up somehow? Okay, Sarah, let me explain. The elevator that was under construction in your time is up and running. Which means this must be the world of the future. Got it? I don't get it. <laughs> Next year in your time, last year in this time, which means we've traveled two years into the future. <laughs> Sarah, huh? is that you? <laughs> hey, watch yourself. Thanks. Oh, Sarah, it is you. You know them? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Strange world, stranger events, unfamiliar faces, an uncertain future. They speak of anomalies, of a strange energy that warps time itself. Things that shouldn't exist here are appearing near the gates. Things that shouldn't happen are happening. They call this phenomenon the paradox effect. And if you think about it, that term could apply to our existence in this age as well. Lightning. How will I find you when I don't even know when or where I'll end up next? Rain. Oh. I'll supply you both with comm devices. Right this way, please. Um, thank you for your help. I was just wondering, hmm? have we met before? Oh, no. Sorry about all that observer nonsense back there. Lucky for us, that soldier was so quick to believe me. Are you sure it's okay to lie like that? Oh, don't stress about it. That guy's a pushover. Anyway, it is true that you two are important guests. What ruins are these? This is what's left of an ancient cocoon city. We're hoping to uncover some fairy technology. So what's your story? I'm Alyssa Zydell, an Academy trainee. And this is where I'm going to make my big discovery. That's not what I meant. What do you want with us? <laughs> I'm not sure I want to tell you yet. You'll just have to trust me. You're a friend of Sarah's? <laughs> I told you that was a cover. I'm just a trainee looking to make it big. So I'm curious. Yeah? Just why are you helping us anyway? I saw you two. I saw how you got here through that thing. What? You mean through the gate? Yes. It is a kind of gate. It links to another world, doesn't it? Ooh, nice to finally have some clue what these things are for. So basically, helping us out was almost like part of your research. But you still have questions. I do have questions, yes. About the gate, and about the paradox. Yeah. But with Atlas throwing his weight around, the ruins will be closed off and there goes the chance to get your answers. No, Popopo. <laughs> No problem. Huh? We'll take care of that giant for you. You will? Great! What? The monster turned into crystal! Servant of time, daughter of chaos, 
unto the world unseen, the untamed you guide. <laughs> what do you know? <coughs> it talks. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah. Guide the untamed? Your power over monsters, Koopo. Over monsters? Now that you mention it, Lightning had monsters fighting with her in battle. You can do the same, Koopo. Okay. This power, can you show me how it works? I want to learn how to protect myself. Might as well start now. Koopo? <laughs> We had some supply stations around here, then they sort of disappeared. Probably another Paradox side effect. Leave it to me, Koopo! We can't activate the portal without the key. First, we have to figure out what opens this gate. Something that doesn't belong in this time. Sounds like us. I wish it were that simple. <laughs> it would save us the trouble of searching. Wouldn't Atlas be the key? Bingo. I heard legends that people from centuries past were responsible for building it. But that was in my past. It's still years ahead of this present. My guess is that he's a weapon from your future. So Atlas definitely doesn't belong in this time. If we can stop him, then maybe we'll find the artifact we need. <sighs> maybe. It's worth a shot, at least. How about the thing we used last time? I think each gate uses a different key. There might be similarities in size or material, though. Hmm. What about Alyssa? Sarah, you should take this more seriously. <laughs> She's keeping tabs on us. So, about Alyssa, you think we can trust her? <sighs> it does kind of feel like she's using us, huh? That's okay. When I was a kid, I knew a guy around the same age. We didn't get along too well. He was always trying to get me to do his share of the work. Then one day, he asked me to go hunting with him. I refused and had enough of being bossed around. It's another gate. Are these all linked to different time periods? If that's true, timelines must be pretty tangled. Alyssa, when did these portals first appear? Sure. It's like they'd always been there, and one day we finally noticed. So they took everyone by surprise. Either that or someone's been hiding them. What are these gates anyway? They're definitely causing the paradox effect. I've seen the warping energy pouring out of them. Perhaps you're right, but maybe the opposite's true. Maybe that energy caused the gates to appear. What does the Academy make of all this? Everyone has their own opinion on this particular subject. Are they portals to another world, or just basic teleporters? We know they have a powerful warping effect on the surrounding area's temporal stability. They look like some sort of device. The design seems too deliberate to be natural. That's one of our theories. Like, maybe there's a foul sea we don't know about, who built these gates as a way to invade Cocoon. These portal things are useful as heck. You can travel to the past or the future as easy as walking through a door. Um, no. I'm not sure I can tell if you're being serious or not. We've detected a large energy surge in the center of the ruins. Another unknown device has appeared. Did the device appear along with Atlas? Atlas is a weapon built by humans. They must have designed a way to stop it. And that machine showing up is no coincidence. Right. Two choices. We try that new device and hope it controls Atlas. Or do it the old-fashioned way and fight him head on. No regrets, no looking back. Hey, Mog, what do you think about all this? Um, I think... I like Sarah more than I like Noel. Koopo. Ouch. You know I have feelings, right? Hey, Noel. Is Atlas used in some war that happens in the future? Hmm. Let me think. Yeah, I remember this. Are you forgetting stuff? My memories are unreliable. There are events I should remember, but my memory is hazy, like I'm seeing them through fog glass. But not this time. 
I remember this one. There was a war hundreds of years before I was born. That's when Cocoon crashed in a pulse. When does that happen? About halfway between your present and mine. So not for centuries yet. Wait, you're not talking about what happened five years ago? That was the day my sister disappeared into the pillar. The day of Ragnarok is recorded as a separate event. The final fall of Cocoon happens much later. But what happens to Cocoon's pillar? What happens to Lightning and the others? They say the pillar crumbled. In my age, there's nothing left but crystal sand. <sighs> Are you joking? You'll know when I'm telling a joke. Trust me. If we travel to the future, maybe we can stop it. Who's to say what's possible? That could be the reason we're here in the first place. I think we're inside the Paradox. Oh no... We have to figure out the Labyrinth and its puzzles before we can get out, Kubo. <laughs> the machine's working! Let's see what it does, yeah? Let's. This actually lets us control Atlas. All we can do is pray. Please work. <laughs> so how do we do? We did it. How did we get here? No! Look out! Move! I think I found his weak spot! Ready? Do it! Wait for it! Now! What? The paradox is dissipating. Paradox effect. This is just a theory, but I think there might be someone out there derailing history and bending the timeline. That's why Atlas and these gates are appearing out of nowhere. Who would do something like that? I don't know. Someone who has the power to change history. And since we can use the gates, we'll have to stop him. This ability to control monsters and use the gates, could it be a gift from Lightning? We'll just have to find her so you can ask her yourself. Is this why Cocoon has been destroyed in your future? Huh. I hadn't thought of that possibility. You're saying that I was born in some kind of alternate timeline? If that's true, then is someone trying to destroy the pillar? And is lightning trying to stop them? 
Could this someone be responsible for lightning disappearing? Could be. You remember your sister coming home, right? You have memories from before everything got twisted. But why only me? That's the question. We'll keep looking for an answer. You know, this might all be a natural occurrence. Like, I don't know, a, a time quake or something. Interesting idea. The gates would be like cracks in the continuum, and lightning has fallen through one of them. There's an epitaph. Here lie the innocent victims of chance, cast out and cast down. May their souls find the path that leads them home. Cast out? These must be victims of the Purge. This is it! This is the place! <sighs> I thought I might be... But that's not my name. Then whose is it? Kubo. It's my friend's. She died here, running from the Purge. <sighs> And me? I'm one of those who survived. Five years ago, the entire town of Bodum, it was wiped out by the army. I was there, visiting my friend. Then everything went to hell. We ran and hid with the other fugitives. But just as the troops were pulling out, that's when the ceiling of our hiding place collapsed. Since then, I've had the same dream. I'm trapped under rubble. It's dark. I'm in pain and I can barely breathe. The next thing I know, I rise out of my body and I'm standing before this grave. And the name written on the stone, it's mine. After seeing that image so many times, I started to think that maybe I did die back then, and the life I'm living now is just an illusion. Alyssa, you feel that way too? Well, you seem real to me. for the suffering we've caused? Can we ever give back what we've taken? <sighs> okay then. I think that wraps things up for Alyssa. Now for our little quest. Right. Let's find an artifact and open a gate. So, where should we look? Hmm. Well, now we've cleared up the paradox effect. It's possible those sneaky artifacts have come out of hiding. Let's try searching those areas we couldn't reach. <sighs> Time for some Muko magic. Kaboom! Uh huh? Mog, you can help? You're a lifesaver! Koopa Koopa! <laughs> Yes. Yes, it worked. Kupu. Sarah, you okay? Kupu. It's nothing. I'm fine, really. Just tired, I guess. Hmm. Right. Somehow I kind of doubt it's nothing. 